while saying that new regulations now are prescribing isolator not only for containment purpose but also for generic. Hello everybody, welcome to Hello Pharma Explore, a learning and knowledge sharing platform for the pharmaceutical industry. This episode we feature uh, Filippo Perini, sales manager uh, from Steriline. He takes care of uh, sales in Italy and heads the commercial team for Steriline Asia. Uh, Filippo here uh, is to discuss a crucial aspect of aseptic processing uh, including regulations, innovations and uh, future trends. Thank you Filippo for being with us uh, and welcome to Hello Pharma Explore. Thank you. Good morning. Very good morning. Uh, to start with, uh, everyone is talking about the new Annex 1, a document that encompasses all the norms and rules for aseptic production. Can you elaborate uh, on what the content of this document entails and how uh, the pharmaceutical industry can respond to these regulations? The new Annex 1 uh, outlines all the regulations and the standards for the aseptic processing. So the core of this regulation is the contamination control strategy that basically is a strategy, is the strategy that a pharmaceutical company has to uh, adopt in order to reduce as much as possible the contamination of an aseptic product. Okay. So this document focuses on reducing human intervention through advanced technology and automation and uh, recommends on top of that the use of isolator systems. So these two uh, parameters and these two technologies would help in reducing the contamination uh, of the product and uh, would ensure the maximum protection against contamination.